Hello and welcome to ARCA at Indianapolis. It's a new week on iRacing and i um, hoping that this attempt goes better than the first. That's right, second attempt here. Uh, first attempt, I'll go ahead and tell the story because it's real short. Qualified third. Your exit's clear. Watch the white got uh, a pretty good jump on the start. The guy in second did not. And uh, so I was on his inside, even after he tried blocking a little bit, which was fantastic to begin with. And then he just turns left into me and crashes us both before we even get to the first turn. So that was cool. It's been a while since I've had that bad of a race in Arca. I mean, and it's been a while since I was just that speechless to it, how awful that was. I mean, it was not even one of those things where, oh, I drifted up a little bit, he drifted down a little bit more. Nah, he, he, it was just like, he turned left. It was, it was bad. <laughs> and, uh, even better, this is, uh, just the next race after that one, and he's also in this race. So here's hoping it doesn't happen again. We can only hope that they have maybe learned something from their brilliance. But, who knows, man. Not sure uh, how my hot lapping is going to go here. Got a little extra practice after my first attempt since, well, I had to wait until the next race here. Send up practice and honestly got a little bit faster. That was pretty nice. Looks like we're gonna be in the eights here. Be good. I'm happy with that. Hold position. That last lap was at 54.0. Maybe we can even uh, get an even better lap here. I don't think we're going to have much of a chance, though, because Lewandowski is apparently here. <laughs> he wasn't in the last race, but he showed up for, for this one, and uh, he's going to be a tough customer to beat, for sure. So, my chances went down pretty, pretty high compared to the first race, but they weren't that great to begin with anyway, because, uh, I don't know. Not feeling too great here, although this is my tide maybe for my best lap ever. 3893. Oh my god, Lewandowski from <laughs> the fours. Oh forget that. No, never mind. He's he could win. <laughs> Holy cow. That's absurd. I don't even know how that's possible. How are you getting three extra tenths? That's wild to me. That's uh all right, so far qualifying third again. Like I said, that's where I qualified last time. And uh, the thing is, like with that guy in the last race, like mistakes happen. Genuine mistakes don't bother me so much. It really sucks and it's irritating. But you know, if guy apologizes and you know, it's it's obviously a genuine mistake, then it's like, okay, fine, time to move on. But what bothers me is the guy never said a word, and ended up finishing ahead of me, by the way, because he got less damage than me, I had the to toe. Um, never says a word, doesn't apologize to anyone, goes on, finishes ahead of me, and then... just nothing. And there's the fact that he was like blocking immediately before that. So he already got gave me the a bad impression immediately and then goes and just drifts down the track and hits me, so that was irritating. So not too thrilled to be sharing the track with him again this time. But we uh we will be. Won't really want to go out and like point out who it is. 
So that doesn't do any good, but... They have qualified near me, I will say that. So that's exciting. That's the end of the session, E4. Get knocked out a third here at the last second. So we'll be on the outside, unfortunately. Here's what I got. I got 12 to 1. I'm feeling okay with uh, my ability to save tires using the brakes and uh, being You're easy on the, on the throttle and stuff. Close, I've proven to close. myself I can kind of get that done at least somewhat <laughs> in the past and still be able to have my steering ratio lower so I can catch slides and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see if it'll uh, it'll work out. But uh, 12 is pretty comfortable. Got my brakes all the way back. In fact, I might as well just bring them back even more while I'm thinking about it. 57 isn't really all that low, even though it's the minimum. And uh, steering offset, I always like to have it negative 15 in this car because I don't like the way it pulls to the left. And that's the only reason. Which is personal, personal preference. Right there. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make it to the first corner this time. That would be progress. Follow car number zero four in the outside column. It is a second gear start. This uh, first gear is too short. Get a nice view of Lewandowski. He's got like a cool uh, Wood Brothers scheme right there. I like that. That's cool. Needs the 21 on there, not the 1, but I don't know how many races he ends up being the 21. <laughs> I'm going to try to uh, be good about saving tires, because there is some decent fall off. Just because you need that grip a whole lot through these sharp corners that you enter at 180. So, you need that grip. I'm hoping that we can get out uh, of the outside lane as soon as possible, because that's not going to be where I want to be. Maybe get this three past us as soon as we can. Hopefully be single file for a minute. I really don't want to be battling too early on. I want to battle as little as possible. Because here, side by side is tough. And it's only going to probably hurt your tires more and slow you down. So uh, the less you do that, the better, I think. But hopefully we can get a good jump here. Ready, going green. Okay, I'm not going to overtake the four immediately, even though we got a good job. Didn't do us much good to uh, inside. Do that. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Bottom. Didn't want to be on the outside. And I was going to give it to him, but he got loose apparently, so. Hey, third. Alright. So, no longer in the outside lane. Just what I wanted. Cool. Gonna use that. Uh, it gets real loose down by that line down there. But you can use that to get rotating, so. Try to use that to my advantage without sacrificing too much speed. Good save, Debbie. By uh, getting loose. You now it's good. And it, it, it's going to be tough balance trying to uh, not overdrive it, but also driving on the right rear. It's a tough balance. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest. But I'll, I'll do, I'll do my best. I'll try to get it down. But if uh, that four up there wants to battle Lewandowski, 
hurt both their tires. Hey, I'm all about that. It's about the only shot I have is if uh, they, if they have to battle. I know I'm talking about Blue Windows again a whole lot, but it's because he's he's good. <laughs> I've done enough races with him, and uh, watched him just sail off in the distance to know. So I'm just uh, trying to be aware of my uh, surroundings, of who I'm up against in this race, and uh, helps me put a plan together. You know, to kind of better know what to expect, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so. I think the four might be uh, might be being patient, just smart. I think he's probably got the draft there and is not using it to pass, but rather to uh, work together a little bit and pull away. Which, like I said, is smart, so they can get a good lead and aren't fighting like I was saying. I was hoping they would. So that's a, that's good planning by the four if that is what's happening. Of course, I say that, and then watch, he's probably going to try to pass him here in a minute <laughs> after I that say that, but we'll see. I think he's probably working with him a little bit and uh, thinking about the long run, but we'll see. I think he's following in our tracks. They might be saving tires better than us. I'm not so sure that I'm not overdriving. Trying to, uh, I guess I can talk about my process here as I go through the corners. My uh, plan, I'll talk it through this next lap. Helps me out anyway to uh, kind of remember my step by step <laughs> and be good. Be uh, good to myself and good to my car and execute the plan I've made for myself. So, I get up the brakes about this one and break in a straight line and then use the brakes, the lower brake bias, to kind of pull it to the left. It's a nice decent pull to the left of the wheel. And uh, once I get it kind of pointed the right direction, I think heading towards the apex and heading towards the lower side of the track is important. Because you don't want to be up a groove here because that's going to be bad for the tires and it's just slow. So. Uh, using the brake bias and using the wheel to get turned in after doing a little bit of straight line braking and then being very ginger with the throttle getting as low as I can on the track with hopefully not getting too much below that white line kind of getting real near it and letting it help rotate the car so that way the car is rotating not with my steering wheel but uh, naturally rotating getting loose because of like the apron and stuff that's kind of my thought process. Is this the best way to do it? I don't know. But it's been kind of working for me. And so far it looks like we're uh, pulling away from the guy behind, but again, he can be just sick and tires better than I am. And uh, now they are battling ahead, potentially. Just what I wanted to see. Maybe they're content with the distance they've gotten. And I think Lewandowski just let him go there. Again, it's more smart racing. Kind of like what I mentioned before, fighting side by side here is something you want to avoid at all costs. Not only is it dangerous, because it's very one groove here, but it slows you down, hurts the tires, and uh, you just want to minimize it as much as possible. the brakes pretty good on entry to get it uh, slowed down pull it to the left so it points towards the inside and then using uh, as much throttle as I can without it breaking loose just uh, doing the whole like egg under the uh, <laughs> under the throttle pedal thing And uh, you, you kind of turn in late here. I think it's kind of a... It feels like you're turning in too late. It feels like I'm turning in too late. I think that's the way you want to do it, because it helps you get that run off. And obviously the straightaways here are so absurdly long. 
Uh, really where you want to be. It's getting me uh, run off. So here's hoping I'm not killing my tires. And it looks like the four is actually getting away from the number one. Potentially, that's interesting. Or got this place pretty figured out. At least it looks that way right now. My L bar is scaring me on the top right. Apparently having some connectivity issues potentially. Don't need that. And uh, three, kind of catching up to us a little bit. I missed my marks a little bit there, so. Pretty smooth and try to uh, not pull it off any more time. Even if uh, he catches us from behind, though. Got a nice gap back to fifth, so I'm feeling pretty good about the top five. Yes, use that apron to turn. Feels good. Especially as the uh, car gets tighter, you can start relying on it a little bit more to get that extra turn you need. I think this three might uh, have better long run pace than us, though. See your coming up on us. Of course draft too, but the draft is quite weak in the arc car. It's still there, but it's quite weak. I do think it might be helping them out a little bit. Bring it up to us. Get it in the wall. Last thing I want to do. Hit the wall and get the good old uh, you knocked your wheels out of alignment. <laughs> that is not good for business. Mess that up a little bit out of turn four. So I'm thinking the three will probably try to overtake me right away. I don't think he's going to be interested in working together. Got here left to go. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Because I don't think there's much chance for us to catch the guys ahead. And I'm sure we both know that. So he's going to be all about getting the pass done, I imagine. If he can catch us, we would pretty good couple of corners there, comparatively. Right, felt pretty good too. I like how the car feels. Feels like I'm on the right rear well enough. That it's still turning pretty well. It's a good sign. Drove that a tiny bit on entry though. That hurts a little bit. Just gotta try to hit my marks. It's a tough track. This is pretty tough. That is for certain. It's very tough to get it through the corner how you want it. I'm thinking uh, hitting, giving the brakes a good stab on the uh, entry as well helps to push the nose down a little bit and that helps the car turn. I mean, that's kind of how it works, right? When you think about like when you hit the brakes and then the front of the car kind of like heads towards the ground and you get like the better downforce or whatever. I'm not really good at the technicality kind of stuff of, the, of racing, like exactly what's going on with the Aero and downforce and stuff. Still not very knowledgeable on that kind of thing, but from what I understand, that's kind of what's going on. Nose gets closer to the ground, and you get like a better downforce, and it helps the car turn better. I don't know. I could be <laughs> completely wrong and sound like a doofus right now.
All I know is giving the good, the brakes a good push. Corner entries helping get through the corner. Getting loose does not help get through the corner though. That was pretty darn not good. That kind of uh, made us bad in turn four as well. So I think this three is going to be catching us here in a moment. Side by side up ahead though. Car positioned how I like there. Another bad turn one. Oh, the three is here. Would really hope that he would kind of work with us, maybe, and still have hope that we catch one and two if they battle a bunch, but let's see if that's gonna happen. the apron a little bit too much there. Plus I think maybe him getting up behind us might have got me a little loose as well. Not sure how much of a thing that is in this car, but at least we got out of turn four pretty decently. That last lap was a 55.7. Car's not turning nearly as well anymore. It's getting tighter. I need to adjust and turn one now. Probably hit the brakes a little bit more or hold it a little longer. All that good stuff. Hmm, I was just playing slow there. Hmm, a little high on exit. I had to lift off a little bit. That's going to hurt our runoff. Is it going to be enough for him to get the nose on me? He's peaking, but he's not there. He compromised his entry a little bit by having to do that. I wasn't giving to him. Spotter said nothing. Not on my inside. I think he's he's uh, he's better than us right now though, so I think he's gonna get us right here. Car inside. Still inside. The gap to Lewandowski. Clear ahead is now 3.1 seconds. I'll let him go. Not gonna kill my tires fighting on the outside. Maybe we'll have a, sh a chance if I quit messing up the corners a little bit. Maybe I can get him on draft or something, or he can plow the wall. That could happen too. Sorry. Oh my god, I missed my braking zone. Clear inside. I was too worried about what he was doing. I just straight up I missed my braking zone. I don't have any better excuse than that. <laughs> looking at his car instead of my brake marker. And uh, that didn't help matters. Oh, we need to get it together here. He's having some <laughs> troubles, apparently. And maybe we'll be able to overtake him, but not likely. I think he's probably faster at this point in the race. He's really threatening to hit that wall, though. He did hit it before. And uh, he's really getting close. Looks like he's pushing real hard. I'm gonna do what I can. Get that run off that I need. Ooh, he had to lift off. I almost hit the wall. Two more. 
We gotta go for it here, two to go. Sorry man, but that was a lot of speed you were checking out. Clear high. Tried it, but uh, couldn't get enough turn entering low like that. I think his tires might be worse now. <laughs> I peaked. I wasn't there though. Nice and hard. And coming to the white flag. That means one more left to go. The lap time was at fifty-six point four. Kind of hope for a mistake. Car outside. Keep low. Get behind some crease too. Big one, sir. We go low. There is a car on the high side. <sighs> Dang. Slow car down low. Ah, <sighs> it just got me. That's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. There's the flag. It's over. Oh. I'll go ahead and say it now. That was the guy that wrecked me <laughs> the last <laughs> race. <laughs> Plot twist. I really, really wanted to beat him. And raced him a little harder than I would normally people. Normally to people there. Gave a little less room. But couldn't do it. Oh well. Still not going to be upset about the top five. Whew. Man, I really wanted that. That's fine. <sighs> so, finished where we started. We fought hard. It was pretty, pretty intense. It was pretty entertaining racing, at least. And uh, let's see uh, what happened out here. Thankfully, we made it to the end this time. Incidents. Team getting loose on lap one, and the 17 was not able to check up in time. Nice save by the 17, though. He almost uh, found some outside wall and kind of righted the ship. On the wall there. 18's glued to the wall, as the Arca car tends to do. So pull it off and hurt someone? No. Speaking of glue, we've got Elmer here. Mr. Elmer. Into the wall. I can see a lot of that. It's pretty easy to get in the wall here, especially if you overdrive turn one. As this guy did. And a little bit of a wall on entry. I was watching Gavin's race, and then there was a couple of guys that were doing that. I guess that'll happen whenever you're trying to uh, maximize your space on the track. Sometimes you just take a little bit too much, a little more than the track's willing to, gri to give. 18's having some serious issues. Oof. That's not good for it. And uh, a little bit of extra as they head to the pits, for good measure. I will say, let me just take an intermission here. Even though that guy was the guy that irritated me a little bit last race, that was a good battle we had. And uh, makes up for it, because we had a clean race there. Even though, even though he beat me, and I wish I hadn't lost to him. We raced good here. I'm assuming, I'm going to assume, benefit of the doubt, the guy 
maybe just doesn't chat, doesn't have voice chat on. Um, and it was a genu genuine mistake. No ill will at it. I'm okay, moving on about it. It's in the past, we had ourselves a good race here. Good battle, and it was fun, so. <sighs> Character development, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyway, we've got more people hitting the wall. Seeing a whole lot of that. Woo! And getting loose on exit. Trying to avoid the wall. A lot of people are kind of iffy about Indianapolis with stock cars. I actually quite like it. As long as it's a car that doesn't have too much draft, like the ARC car. Because when you get too much draft and you got guys going four wide, and then that's just annoying. Same deal with like Pocono. I like Pocono whenever the draft's not a big deal. If you can avoid that, then. Kind of like these tracks. Eight loose on exit, and maybe a tiny little tap of the wall. Here's your leader and eventual second place? I didn't even realize what was happening ahead of us because. <laughs> because of, uh our battle, but Lewandowski came back and beat him. How about that? Six in the wall. There's 17. Oof, nothing. 18's had a lot of trouble this race. Is he going to get wall on entry again? Yes, he is. Haven't seen the 11 yet. Looks like they've got some uh, right front troubles. Having some trouble getting it turned. They've had a clean race, though, it seems like, so far, if I haven't seen them. So, and that's some wall. Some pretty good wall, it looks like. Ooh, that looks weird. That's like net code. <laughs> Pretend hitting the wall or something, or maybe he overreacted. He was like, oh no, I'm going to drift in the wall. Get, get it away from there. That was interesting. 22 having more trouble. That's definitely some wall. There's no turn left in that car. Ouch. It's a heavy hit, too. So he just pulls it down low. Got worried about four of them for a second. And three gets the wall pretty good. That helped us battle back. Man, I wish, I wish I was able to overtake him, but I uh, didn't do it. I want to see how I'm doing here. Oh, that's when I missed my braking marker. Well, the answer is I'm not doing very well. <laughs> he probably thought that I would like tried to slide job him, but that's not, that's not what my intention was. My intention was, well, as long as you get the inside, usually you're pretty decent, but I just missed my braking marker real bad. Yeah, I don't hit the brakes until, like, right about here. That's my braking marker. That's much deeper than I normally do it. So I had to get on the brakes real hard, and I completely messed up my corner. Probably lit my right front on fire, too. That didn't help anything. Guess I didn't do that, though. I was able to keep it out of the wall this race. That's always good. Ooh, chain reaction. That stinks, because these guys are pretty high up in the field, too. So that looks like fighting hard near the end of the race. If I probably got tight and had to lift off in order to not hit the wall, the 8 sees it and lifts off. Maybe they were getting tight as well. The 7 had a much better corner. But uh, they got there too quickly. In fact, the 5 hit the wall. That might have made the 8 check up even more, and then the 7 just catches up to him too quickly. That's just an unfortunate chain reaction. You could say, like, oh, the 7 needs to be more careful, but it's kind of hard. I mean, maybe you can see that coming. That's difficult, though. Especially going hard late in the race. Like, you really want to take advantage of that opportunity if, they're, if the guys are going to be slow. That's, that's just a tough spot there. Hate it for the eight, because they were having a good run. Might have even gotten the worthy of finishing lap down. 
They might have even gotten a penalty on pit entrance there. Either way, not good. I don't think we've seen the 10 yet. They uh, were able to keep it out of the wall until now. Assumedly. If that is a word. Ooh. 23 kind of comes off the wall there. Almost got into the orange car. Got this lime green. Don't know quite why we're seeing this though. Oh, and this is coming to the checkered. Oh, the 10 just drives through the 16. I don't know if he meant, he probably didn't mean to do that. He got a massive run on him, though. I think he could have, he probably could have passed him and got the spot. But I think he thought he was going to be on the high side. And they kind of just ended up in the same spot. And the 10 can't lift there if he had once any chance, and they both kind of suffer from it. They both very much suffer from it, it looks like. Oh no, oh, the Arca breaks. The Arca breaks, oh my god. Get the stretcher. Yeah, lots of problems going on. Who was the guy that came plowing into the other guy? There was some, <laughs> there was some serious carnage. Here, heading to the checkered flag. So they wreck each other. And the 16's broken, I think. That's why they can't really turn to get out of the way. Ooh, and they sneak spy right there. Ooh, they sneak spy and hit some. Oh, okay, the 9 is the one. Yeah, he just doesn't... He's got to stay low to get, keep out of this car's way. He would have to, like, take a hard right to try to avoid him there. And, like, maybe he thinks he's going to hit this guy and shoot him off. So he just he goes wrong. <laughs> and he helps the 16 across the line. So that actually really benefited the 16 because it saved him a spot. That's funny. Well, it's not really all that funny. That really stinks for a lot of those guys, but... I uh, assume that's probably it. We just got guys uh, cool down now and finishing up. And uh, just blinking and being all crazy. So that's it. All right. So we had a secret rival in this race. Uh, the guy who just happened to be the one that we were fighting, but. Uh, I'm okay putting it in the past now. I assume it was just a mistake before. I didn't quite like the what appeared to be blocking in the last race. And then what it led to. And the lack of an apology, but whatever. Not going to hang on it. We had a great race here. And uh, kept it clean. So that was all good and well. It was a fun race. And uh, we got ourselves a top five. Pretty happy with that. Uh, not my best track here, so... Being able to put in the top five with the zero X on top of that. Pretty good. Pretty happy with it. How did uh how did Lewandowski get the pass? I'm kinda curious if we'll be able to see that. Maybe he was in the lead for a while, I don't know. But uh now they were fighting, they were fighting pretty hard. They had a great battle for the win, looks like. This is lap eighteen, heading to nineteen. Looked like the four got loose there. Side by side. Good stuff. Lewandowski Clears him. And uh, that was probably all she wrote. Oh, Ford makes up some room there, but almost hits the wall. Yeah, that's probably it then. So Lewandowski pulls it off. What'd I tell you? He's fast. <laughs> He's the guy that beat us uh, in the 87 Legends. At uh, Dover, that heartbreaker race. I guess my, while we're here, might as well see the, my final attempt. <laughs> Oh, I got so loose there. Trying to give it everything I got. I wasn't going to have any chance of, unless I gave it 110, though. And mm. Even though I really wanted to beat him, I wasn't going to put him in the wall or anything. Give it everything I had, but he got a better run off. Uh, just going to try to do some side drafting or something, maybe. I don't know what I'm thinking, but... I really wanted it, didn't get it.
but still happy. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good one. See you later.